you'll never guess what just got a giant new expansion. So that means we need to build an entirely new mining empire, and it starts with this boat. Flip the switch and we set sail, on to try and break the game in as many ways as we possibly can. And we arrive at a strange new island, where a tall king has tasked us with taking this box to someone else. And I am historically very good at following directions. Looks like we've got some new dig sites we can utilize. I'm assuming this truck is for me. And this tent dweller is exactly who wants the package. And as a reward, they gave me $200. I can't wait to definitely lose that somewhere where I can't see it ever again. I'm now to deliver this to Mayor Osbert. He sounds stupid, but I will do anything for money. And according to the map, this is in fact a dig site. And I've got everything I need to make a fortune. Dig the dirt, put it in the hole. Then put the hole in the other hole. And I guess submerge the hole in lava. And that seems to have worked. We thawed out the ice and out come some materials, gold and iron. Can we go ahead and stack up a few ores in there? I would very much like to take that with me. I really hope this doesn't delete the former ores in there. It does look like we have more ore in there. I'm not really good at counting, but I'm pretty sure we're making a profit. So I'm going to spend a few minutes trying to make some money because we currently have very, very little. I'm also not really sure whose land I'm digging on, but they're not around so they can't stop me. I hit the wrong button and dumped the dirt out along with all my ores into the lava. Uh, this isn't actually gold that I'm holding, this is called hardstone. I hadn't actually picked up the ores yet so I didn't know what these were. This is iron ore. Okay, and this is gold, so there is a difference between that and that. If we punch a hole deep enough, we might actually find bigger, better stuff as well. I've actually reached out about as far as I can with a simple hole like this, so we'll see if anything better comes out of here. I'm gonna do this and then we're gonna go find town and try and sell everything we got for whatever profit this is going to be. I did find what appears to be something new as well. This is called core stone ore. At least I think that's new. We're gonna bring that to town with us and sell it before it gets dark and you guys can't see anything. By the way, whoever's uh, ground that is, thank you for the bucket as well. I'm gonna go ahead and keep that. I seem to have located the town. I just need to figure out where I can actually sell stuff. And everyone I see here just wants something from me. My first purchase is going to be a bed. I've realized I could probably take advantage of the stock market if I could smelt my stuff into bars. Luckily, I just have enough money to buy this stuff. So hopefully this actually works. Uh, yeah, we're going to probably have to do this outside of the town limits. I made it back to that ground I just sort of stole, so I managed to sleep all night so we have some light. Now I should be able to start my smelting operation. So I just need to delicately pick out piece of gold after piece of gold and it will eventually break down and we can cast it into a bar. A very small gold bar, but a gold bar nonetheless. That's going to be profit. And then we do the same to get a baby iron bar. Then we're about to find out if hardstone uh, can smelt down and it looks like it can't. But the core stone sure can and that looks fancy enough that it's got to be worth a few bucks as well. Just think, this is the beginning of our great empire. I was driving by and I noticed like someone's hand sticking out of the ground. Uh, that's a hydrosaur foot. It says I'm supposed to donate it to the museum, but I'm going to see if I can sell it. Oh good, stock prices are down today for the bars. We'll still see what they're worth because, well, be honest, I'm desperate. That's worth nothing. The iron bar we smelted is worth $23, so I mean, we'll take that. Sir, I brought you a dinosaur foot. Please accept it. He didn't like my dinosaur foot very much. I've also driven past the mustache here like a thousand times. He's the one who wants the box. And he's well chuffed. Now we need to take this to uh, Frederick in Burville. I assume there's something relevant there, so we're going to go there. We just need to figure out where that is. I think I found where I'm supposed to sell stuff. It's right back at the boat where the tall king was. So we're going to go and throw this stuff down. $56. I'll take it. Now we have one mighty stack of money. $329. But we're going to need more money if we're going to build an automated setup. It's not actually that much money to buy the stuff we need. I'm kind of hoping I can just find a way to steal it. But if not, it won't take long to mine the stuff we need. Like, not long at all. Pretty sure that's another glowing fossil piece. I think I found my first emerald as well. One other thing I can do, I've realized, is have a bucket of lava. And I can shovel stuff into the bucket of lava if I feel so inclined. Just, you know, because I can. I've discovered the ground down below slopes down in this direction so I can go deeper by going that way. It's just really awkward to dig. I managed to ram my head through the dirt so I can actually see the total depth of this and we're getting down there. I feel like the good stuff's got to be down that way. I'm pretty sure I read in the patch notes that you could smelt everything together and it wouldn't actually jam everything together. It would sort of sort them out. I didn't really read it so we're just going to give it a try. You know what? Wow, that actually worked great. Except for that stuff, but I'm assuming that stuff's not overly smeltable. Now that we got the iron all gathered up, we just gotta wait for it to smelt down and do a manageable thing. Now we got another iron bar. Easy profit. So this time, our increased amount of gold is worth 211 and the iron is probably worth less, but still gonna add something. 318 dollars. 
And when I smash my money together, 647. That's going to be a big boost to our operation. Since I'm also starting to find uh, gems, we're going to get a gem cutter and an anvil so I can actually use those bars and turn everything into actual uh, proper jewelry to sell it for more. But this is going to increase our profit bigly anyway. There we go, a perfect little mining operation. There's our first gem, there's our other first gem. But also, what do we think is up there? I need some proper motivation to understand what it is we're working towards here today. At the top of the volcano, there seems to be some kind of giant elevator that we're going to take even higher. I mean, there's probably a reason they made a truck size elevator. Which brings us to some giant forge that I assume we don't have anything we need for yet. But that's some good motivation. We'll figure out how this thing works. In the meantime, I've got a quest in roughly this direction. The quickest way to get there is going to be down. They really increased the horsepower on these things since the last time I played. I've also found whatever this is, it is really expensive. You need 10,000 hardstone blocks, 900 corestone bars, and 400 cloudiums. <laughs> Look at this idiot. Live much? I found Frederick of Burville. He also has a mustache. And we need to take this to the Shattered Outpost where we'll probably have more stuff that we need. But I found the conveyor place. This is definitely going to come in handy. I found the person who wants my package. This one's worth $500. That's going to go a long ways. We've already made our first thousand dollars, most of which came from delivering packages. I decided to take my newfound riches back to the store because I think it's worth trying this. Because we can at the very least pump some lava into something else and that would be fun. And we're also going to get a hardstone refiner if we can afford it. That way we can actually use the hardstone for something. And just like that, we're broke again. Alright, so let's see if we can actually figure out how to make this do something useful. Hardstone goes in the pan. And the pan goes in that thing. And this should eventually spit out what we're looking for. We just need a little more. A few pans later and I'm mostly just finding the stupid gold. But I did also find a shard. Probably the first of many. I'm going to take a minute to carefully pick out each individual hardstone and put it into my very efficient setup here to hopefully bump that all the way up to 10. I've also found my very first sapphire. It's not the biggest in the world, but it counts. I think this last little nugget should do it. And out comes a brick. <laughs> we got a brown brick. Outstanding. I have no idea what to do with this magnificent work of art, but we have one. And we're starting to get some progress down deep in our little hole. And for the first time, we found another one of those things. I didn't initially realize how rare they were because we found one so early on. Okay, given how deep a lot of this came from, some of these ores have got to be weighing a bit, so we're going to go try and smelt this mess and see what we can turn it into. So we'll just hopefully pour that nicely in. Wow, that works so well now. And it actually seems to spit out all of the rejects. Uh, I'm going to put my spare stuff there just, you know, so we're keeping track of it. And until I get the item sifter, this is going to be a little bit of a hard thing to do. But for now, we'll manually sort it and smelt it. Also, I'm going to make a ring. So as soon as that gold bar heats up and we have a hammer ready to go, we can hopefully place everything where it needs to go. And there's our very first ring, which is hopefully worth a fortune. Then while we're smelting the remaining iron, I'm going to go dump these into my uh, lava machine and they'll turn into another brown brick. Well, that gave me 4 out of 10, and that's a higher score than I normally get. So the gold ring I made with the ruby is worth 285. I'll definitely take that. The simple iron bar, 159. I wanted to check the price of a single emerald, $7. Hardly worth the effort. And one brown brick, $80. That's not bad. You actually look a lot like this brick. I'm going to hold on to this because I feel like this is going to come in more use elsewhere. I found the bone drop off spot. Oh, we're building a dinosaur. Or something with the skeleton. Wow, it's basically done. Okay, these are what I need. The lava harvester and lava drill. And I've got just enough money for these two, but I don't have enough pipes and stuff to make it work yet. But let's be honest, that never stopped me before. So we just need to grind up a few dollars. It's that easy. I've also just realized I have a much easier way of doing this for the time being. If I just move a few of my pipes around, I can have a lava drip. It will constantly, uh, supposedly do materials for me. Uh, that didn't work the way I thought it would. Okay, this doesn't work. Well, you know what? Not the worst idea I've had anyway. We'll go back to using the bucket method. We don't need that much money. Alright, I shoveled a whole bunch of ore into this thing. Let's get to smelting and make some money. And we're gonna grind some gems. We're probably just gonna sell most of this with the exception of these. Because these will be used to power things. I don't know what these are for yet, but I think it's valuable. And they already found a piece of Cloudium. That's gonna go in a special collection as well. And we found a reasonable amount of brick material, so that's enough to give us another brick plus another half. Aren't they beautiful? Okay, hopefully we make a few bucks off this because we definitely need a few for everything. The gold, that's 325. That's not a huge amount, but I did bring all the gems. Yeah, 482. So now we just need to figure out what kind of pieces we need. Luckily, these are actually reasonably cheap, so we don't have to go crazy. 
the lava pressure tank is also going to come in handy to give us a big boost on things. I'm going to start with this mess for $314. That leaves us with 208. Uh, we'll see if we can make this work. It definitely won't be pretty, but it will be halfway functional. Okay, so this is basically how this is going to go. I need to put a gem in there, but then this is going to spit out into the mulcher, which we need to dig out. Luckily, I've had a lot of practice shoveling already, so we can make this go quick. My beautiful little setup is going to look something like this. The shard stone is going to give everything a boost. Uh, power is going to go into that thing. Power is also going to go down into this. I just need to give it a spot to spit. And I'm pretty sure these buckets can hold a lot of materials these days. So we'll see if that's true. Hopefully this works okay. We're just going to let it run like this. And now we're sorting materials hopefully into our bucket. The perfect operation. I can let it run like this for 10 years now. I don't have to do a thing anymore except go and sell this once in a while. This is only small surface level stuff we're mining right now. But this is so easy. We'll use this profit to build a bigger bed mining operation. And we already got another energy shard. I don't really have a way of sorting this out right now, nor do I want to dig this all out, so we'll just let it run for a while and relax. Well alright, I've collected what should be a hefty amount of money. And if I can, I'm going to pick out a few of the things for now, but I'm not going to try really really hard to do it because I just don't care that much. Carrying your beautiful bounty over to the store, we have $1,150 worth of stuff. I'll take it. And he didn't actually even take the gems from that, so that works in our favor. But we're still going to need a lot more money than that, so we're going to buy some repair kits. And dump out beautiful gems underground. Then basically get right back to work. Or whatever this is considered. I guess while I'm waiting, I could probably smelt all these into a big bar and use that to power things for a while. I like how everything is so tiny. Makes you really appreciate the big stuff once you get to it. But that big bar of power in there should have this thing working quicker, and we should find slightly better stuff. Then we need to figure out what else we need to buy to increase our profits. One thing we could definitely use right now is a hand sorter. That way we can pilfer through our stuff better to smelt it. We're also going to need another intake pipe for stuff like that. And probably just assorted pipes. By the end of this, we're going to be so sick of pipes. But at least they're all reasonably cheap. We still have $800 left over. Good news. While I was away, my machine broke down on me. That's not really a huge surprise. Easy enough to fix. And we'll keep dumping material in there. And I'm sure we're getting very wealthy very quickly. I did some underground construction here. Probably never going to see that piece again. But now I can use this if I want to uh, pull a certain material out of that thing. And for now I'll probably use this stuff because I feel like we maybe want to collect that for now. It would be really cool to have a mountain of gold as big as the volcano. One can dream. I just realized that Core Stone isn't actually new. It was in the game before the DLC came out. So I was sitting here thinking I had something special. It is rare to be fair, but I don't maybe need to be collecting it like I am. Or maybe I do. I'm not really sure yet. So I probably did that wrong. We didn't have any core stone in there anyway. I think I'm going to need a magnet. And while I'm at it, I think we're going to unlock the tier 2 construction crate. Because we might be able to have a lot better stuff than we do now. Can we afford that? We can afford that. So apparently we just need to drop it in a place like this. And then we need a lot of stuff to build it up. Wow, that's expensive. So I got 700 gold to get the av availability to do this. I guess if we cut bars in half, that's going to be a tough one. These ones, we can maybe have things. Basically, we've got work to do. A magnet on a stick is $430? When did that happen? Well, when you can't afford a magnet on a stick, you just get to clicking a whole bunch. We're just going to drop everything in the crucible and smelt it all, and we'll pick up whatever's left afterwards. Okay, when you do it this way, it will only accept one material at a time into it, so we're going to start with iron. I've also just realized that I'm a massive idiot and the values to set up the next shop weren't individual bars, that was weight, obviously. So I also need a scale. But our focus for now anyway will be on uh, just mining ore and getting profit because we need to buy bigger, better ground so we can get bigger, heavier ore. So for now, we're just going to go through the motions of smelting, turning everything into bars and um, putting everything into bricks as well. Okay, this thing's definitely been running for a while, so we're going to go ahead and smelt it all and do this whole process again. Patiently awaiting the day when we get our stupid magnet on a stick. After painstakingly collecting and smelting all of the ore, we've taken it to the shop to sell, so hopefully we'll get a lot of money. And with the final bar of gold, 1650. I will take that all day long. And I realize I'm going to need a scale because I need to conduct an experiment. When I pick up the lava drill, it states, The deeper you dig, the better the resources. I think I can test this pretty quickly with the shovel. I don't know if that means like all the tier 1 dirt is all the same you need to get into the tier 2 dirt for it to make a difference. But all I've got to do is take some surface dirt, turn it into gold and weigh it, and then take some deep dirt, turn it into gold and weigh that. So a surface level pen has yielded me 1 gold and 1 iron. The gold of the surface weighs 0.6. Now if I dig myself way down deep into my hole and grab some of the deepest dirt, it's going to give me 
another piece of gold, so we'll find out if that weighs more than 0.6. Before doing that, we're also going to weigh the other piece of gold on the surface, 0.33. So it's obviously not that heavy. The deeper gold, however, weighs 1.65. It might actually physically be slightly bigger too, but I might be imagining it. This is another round from down deeper, 1.73, so there definitely seems to be some consistency to that, but we'll try another surface level. Okay, so another surface level piece of gold, 0.3, so there definitely seems to be some consistent difference down there. The problem is, it's hard to set up a drill operation down there without a pickaxe. So while I contemplate what to do... I'm going to put a bucket back down and then just keep mining resources for the time being. I did also just find an uncut diamond, so that's a new one. At least I'm pretty sure it's new. It's also really hard to see. I wanted to see the value of diamond compared to other things, so a gem is worth 10 from the same depth, it's worth noting. Whereas a diamond is worth 208. That's crazy valuable. So obviously we're going to need more diamonds. I presume they're very rare though, considering we've only found one so far and we found a lot of different crap but we've got a good foundation set up to expand upon. So I feel like there's going to be a lot of these in the future. Bigger, better diamonds. 